my fact this week is that one of the people employed to assassinate Fidel Castro ended up having sex with him instead. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the news that Castro died, and this is the story of his former lover, Marita Lorenz, who gave an interview where she explained how she'd been given poison pills by the CIA to slip into his drink. The first thing that went wrong when she was trying to do this was that they dissolved in her face cream where she was trying to store them. <laughs> a very weird place to store <laughs> your weapon of assassination. But Castro guessed what she was doing and he handed her his gun to use and said, go on then, why don't you shoot me? He said, you can't kill me, nobody can kill me. And she said, I felt deflated. He was so sure of me. He just grabbed me. We made love. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. It's been reported that he has had 638 assassination attempts mm. made against him. I think, as far as we know, only one of them ended up in lovemaking. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that was a pretty bold move that he said, oh, the pill's not working, here's my gun. That's... <laughs> a lot of the assassination attempts, they do give the impression of being things that didn't make it far away from the drawing board, basically. Because yeah. there was one uh, where they, they decided, well, we know he likes diving, so why don't we put an explosive conch in his favourite diving spot and make it <laughs> brightly coloured and unusual so he will be compelled to swim over um, and pick it up. And... Like he's a bumblebee or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we make it really pretty. But they invested lots of money in those. They bought up loads of um, conch shells looking for one the right size, so they obviously the got right a side. decent way off the drawing board. Yeah. I would have glued them all together and made a super conch, which he couldn't have helped. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that they tried to do was um, put some chemicals in his shoes that would make his beard fall out. Because they thought that if he didn't have a beard anymore, no one would respect him. Um, <laughs> and the idea was that he would go on a foreign trip or something, they would hope he would go to bed, he would leave his shoes outside, they would put the chemicals in, and then when he woke up in the morning, he'd put them on. But the problem was, he always had sex with his boots on. Yes! So, yeah. Well, be a... Always. What if he didn't have them on? <laughs> <laughs> he approached him. He said, Just give me a minute. <laughs> but, so it was from when he used to be a gorilla, just in case someone would attack him when he was least expecting it, he would always be ready for action. Wow. It's weird. <laughs> I think that most guerrilla fighters just refrain from having sex in the absolute heat of battle. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't one of those, was well, he? That's he why you'll it. never be in charge of Cuba. <laughs>